So, just another quick video with a little collection of things that uh, people could maybe use at New Year's, New Year's Eve gigs. So I thought I'd do a little video on that. So here are a few ideas. So the first thing I would probably go grab is the New Year's Countdown Pack that uh, DJ No Rune made a couple of years ago. And that's going to be under Extensions, Sample, Video Loops. So you can install that. And then I'll of course go into the sampler here and as a sample pack. So this one. So let's just go through those. So the first few ones are fireworks and those are video loops. So if I turn it on, nothing happens because it of course needs a video output window. So let me turn that on too. So here it is. And uh, Actually, the thing in the background uh, behind the fireworks is a shader because uh, uh, it's that at the audio only visualization. So as long as I'm not uh, I'm not running any any video uh, music videos, uh, that'll just stay there in the background. You can see also here that it turned on the shader. And but let's go through this. So this was fireworks one, and fireworks two, and fireworks three. And you can actually stack those so it get a little bit crazier like that. So a lot of fireworks. And the next video loop is for confetti. So like that. And the next one is the text saying Happy New Year. Also with a bit of confetti on it. So you could actually stack all those maybe at midnight to get a, a crazy effect on top of your background shader, like that. Or whatever other video is running in the background. Then maybe before midnight, you have a, a few countdowns that you could use if you wanted to. Here's a five second one. Here's a ten, ten second one. Here's a 15 second one. 30 second one and another 30 second one that says Happy New Year in the end and uh, there's also a couple of, couple of one minute ones down here and then there's some, a couple of 10 seconds audio uh, audio sample that counts down like this 10, 9, 8, 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then the idea, of course, is that you play the first track after midnight here. Ten. So uh, that was one of them, and the other one is just ten, nine, eight. like that. So that was uh, the uh, the New Year's countdown pack, which I highly recommend using if you couldn't use any of this stuff. Then I've made my own one here, uh, just with a few audio audio samples and the five button ones is actually just me saying happy new year in different pitch so like this happy new year, happy new year. and uh, in a lower pitch happy new year and like a bit chip chipmunkish here yeah? happy new year and the top one is actually uh, one i got a while ago there's a collection of people counting down from 10 and then saying happy new year 10 9 and so on. Uh, so those are just the uh, just those are just audios that you can maybe use uh, at midnight or uh, any time at New Year's Eve for for the bottom ones. So I'll put those in the video description so you can get those too if you if you like to use them. So uh, those were the uh, uh, the content uh, packs, if you will, that you could go get. But then uh, how would I use these? Well, I did a video a, f a few days ago with a countdown in it, and that was actually ended up being based on. Uh, on the event scheduler, so it's actually right here. So what that does, it has five steps, and it actually, if you go, if you run through them, uh, it it actually starts a countdown uh, on the uh, on the video output window and set it to a specific uh, to a specific shader. So I'll just do that, and the the uh, the countdown is actually going to need the text plugin, so we need to enable that. So that just counts down to midnight, and then there are three button ones. As opposed to uh, to 
should stop the countdown, put in a Happy New Year's text instead, and then put in a Fireworks shade instead. So this one. So that's all good and fine, and that would definitely work, and I've linked the video that explains this in detail in the video description, where you can get the shaders and stuff. And um, But I think that for doing this at an action New Year event, I would probably only use the two top ones. And then uh, do the stuff that happens at midnight, I'll probably do that manually. Uh, as part of, of the DJing, right? So not have that b being done automatically. So only use this, this part, really. So let's, let that one run. And then uh, uh, the shader one here is, is nice, but I might change that around a little bit. So I've actually created a little shader shader group here uh, that says Night Sky. It has different Night Skies in it. So we're not stuck on the same one. And you could, of course, add more. But I think this fits nicely as night skies that we can eventually put some of the fireworks on top of. And of course, you could set those to change within the group by setting it to auto change. But you can also do it by uh, by controlling it with uh, this shader length pad page that I did another window video a long time ago. So I'll probably set that to maybe like 10 seconds so that the background changes every 10 seconds. So it's to change in a few seconds. Like that. And then it just goes between these five uh, nighttime, uh, night sky backgrounds, uh, shaders that I put in the same shader group. So all these shaders and this uh, this pad page, the videos that describe those, I'll also link those in the, in this video description. So you can go get them if you don't already have them. Um, yes. So that's probably what I would have running for a while if I wasn't playing uh, music videos, like maybe for the last 30 minutes or so. And then um, in the end, when stuff finally happens, I would probably switch over to do some of the stuff in the in these that I showed before. So maybe start out with putting some fireworks on top. No, I would probably start out by putting a countdown for maybe 30 seconds, like this one. And then turn off the text. So I just have this one. And then uh, at exactly 10 seconds before, I could start this countdown group thingy, audio. some of more of the fireworks here and the confetti and then when this audio ends we'll start the first track after midnight and then when the happy new year goes away i will start my own happy new year video loop here and then maybe have this running for a while a couple of minutes maybe five minutes after after New Year's, after midnight, just to celebrate that the New Year has started, right? And then, of course, move on to bigger and better things to continue the night. So that was just a quick example of like how I would maybe use all these resources. And like I said, they're all going to be linked in the video description. If you're going to grab, go grab some of it and maybe test it and see if you can use some of it for your New Year's Eve's gig. <laughs>